And this is how, unfortunately, majority parties tend to cut taxes, which is one little bit at a time. And behind every individual one of these tax cuts is a lobbyist. And this is how lobbyists get paid. Well, in and, all fairness, I think the majority party has done that little time and big at a time and every chance they get. So, well, I mean to say all across the country. Okay. Democratic majorities, Republican majorities, federal level, state level. And that's why our tax code is, is a com as complex as it is. And, you know, I think you and I probably have a lot more in common than we do. We agree on a lot more than we disagree on. We disagree on some big things, but we agree on some important things. Um, my time down here is coming to an end. This process of going through this tax cut this last two years, you know, you and I have, uh, we both agree that taxes should be lowered and the earned income tax credit that you put forward and, and the per child tax credit focus right. on the middle class. That's right. It focus on ordinary people. It focus on the vast majority of the 2.4 million taxpayers. And the sad reality is, is that you and I are the only lobbyists that the middle class has. And so they don't and benefit by all the lobbyists <laughs> behind all these little tiny tax cuts. And I encourage you to carry forward in your quest to reduce the tax burden for the middle income people. Well, I appreciate that. I mean, and the thing that's so troublesome is well, you, we served on the Ways and Means Committee, and I've objected to a lot, a lot of things, but we haven't even heard some of this stuff. You know, I, I don't know, maybe a different committee were some of these that you were aware of that came up? I, no, I know a lot of them were not the Ways and Means. A lot, But, you know, it's interesting. When you put forward your tax cut idea, when I put forward my tax cut idea, and it was just for people, there are no lobbyists that came up right. to testify. That's right. You know, and all you got to do is you lower a tax a dollar and you've got three, lo for, for a specific industry or for a specific business, and you've got two or three lobbyists waiting to testify and support, don't you?